Hey everyone, Rob, Chicken Ranch Homestead. Dressed in my finest clothes today. A uh, couple things really quick. Let's get to it. They say goats eat weeds and all that stuff. Here's the proof. They really don't. Unless they're, spo they're spoiled run, they won't eat any of this. Probably a little bit of grass, but not a lot. This is well overgrown. These guys over here, they don't care. They're eating. All right, so what I did is I'm trying to prolong a side of the field to be hayed and trying to make it happen. This is what they're on right now is what they were on all winter. It was pretty much killed off, died off. There's still a big spot where a bunch of hay was and whatever. And uh, what we did is we dragged it and we spread hay around and hopefully the hay seeds went to work. And then I had some seed and I overseeded it trying to get back. Well, there's a lot of weeds there, but there is some grass and they're kind of going to town. They're pretty happy right now. They're content. So, what I'm doing is I'm going to let them eat down this winter paddock, which they will, this winter, they'll just kill off anyways. They'll just eat it down to nothing. But I'm going to have them go in here and mow it down now. And then I'll come back in with the JD X530 lawnmower and mow that down a little. Then I'll let that grow out until winter. And then they can eat it on winter. So they'll have, you know, the man shack. That's their home there. The man shack, they can kind of hang out. I got to fix the roof. There's some big weeds. They've been eating all the ragweed already, which is great. And I'll do that. Then, also, this is the old goat pasture. They're mined up over there now very small area for just those three but this originally was all the goat pasture so this is the goat pasture um that's where the two apple trees blew down last year so that wasn't on the pasture but inside that all the way over to where that line is now all the way to the buildings that was their pasture so this is all nice and big and green and lush i've mowed it a couple times this year um but i am letting it sit I'm letting it sit for eight months. We had an abscess on a goat. So we're keeping them, keeping the sheep off because more than likely that is CL and CL on a goat will transfer over to sheep and then sheep get abscesses inside their bodies and they can die from them. This was never goat pasture. Well, it was goat pasture at one time. This was the original goat pasture, but it had plenty of rest. So with all the plenty of rest over here, then we'll rest this out. So this next spring, the old goat pasture next spring, minus that little bit, will be ready for sheep next year. I'm gonna bring them all the way up to the road. I'm going to add essentially a half acre more so now we'll be up to about three and a half, four acres of pasture, which is really going to help, especially since the herd is growing. Even though I'm probably going to call off a few. Is that right, Eleanor? You're going, because you broke out today. You're going to be leaving. Well, you never know. She's a good mom. She delivers big babies. But, uh, I think that's where we're at today. Just moving them over to the old winter pasture. Grew out a little bit. We're gonna have it mowed down, get prepared for this winter already. I know it's not August. It will, well, it will be when this comes out. So, uh, till that time, remember to like, share, subscribe, leave a comment down below. I have a lot of stuff going on. I will get to the other things that people wanna see. I am going to be cutting firewood here soon. I am going to get that burl cut. We are going to start woodworking again. 
and get to that. So catch you next time here at Chicken Ranch Homestead.